Shifting focus, the leaders of the United States and Russia held their first summit on Monday to discuss global issues, including that of North Korea's nuclear issues. Now, President Putin welcomed President Trump's engagement on denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula, while Trump welcomed close cooperation with Moscow in solving that matter. Right, Kim hyo Sun with more. U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin sat down for an one-on-one -on -one meeting on Monday in Helsinki. The two leaders held private talks for nearly four hours in the Finnish capital, touching upon a wide range of issues including trade, nuclear arms and China. The denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula was one of their key agenda items. President Trump said he briefed his Russian counterpart on the results of the first-ever North Korea-U.S. summit held in Singapore last month. We also discussed one of the most critical challenges facing humanity, nuclear proliferation. I provided an update on my meeting last month <coughs> with Chairman Kim on the denuclearization of North Korea. And after today, I am very sure that President Putin and Russia want very much to end that problem. They're going to work with us, and I appreciate that commitment. Putin hailed Trump's efforts in settling the North's nuclear issue. It's good that the issue of the Korean Peninsula started to resolve gradually. To a large extent, it became possible because President Trump personally got involved into the settlement, building the dialogue in the spirit of cooperation and not confrontation. The two leaders also said Washington and Moscow must find ways to cooperate in the pursuit of shared interests. Following the summit aimed at resetting the two countries' frosty relations, President Trump said their bilateral ties, which have never been worse, had changed for the better as of about several hours ago. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.